He uses this method to express, to remind you that you must walk the middle way. Confucianism talks about the mean, Buddhism talks about the middle way, and we must do things just right, neither too much nor too little. All of which are expressed on the Pippa. You understand what this means. When you see him, isn't it a lesson? Hurry up and bow to him, thank him. He taught me, what is there to say? The southern heavenly king is called growth, think about what growth means. Growth is progress, and every year your virtue grows, and every year your wisdom grows. Years are too long, month by month, day by day. Your ability, and even your quality of life, must be improved every day. Buddhism does not fall behind, and Buddhism seeks progress, so it represents diligence. Our Confucianism talks about, renewing every day, renewing day by day, and renewing day by day. In Buddhism, we talk about, going forward bravely and diligently. Now some people say, our Buddhism must keep up with the times. I was so sad to hear that. How can Buddhism keep up with the times? Buddhism leads the times, and it would be wrong for us to follow the times. You are the leader, how can you follow behind? If you fall behind again, it will be outrageous. How can there be such a reason? Buddhism is the wisdom of ultimate consummation, and those who guide the world are always at the forefront of the times, not behind. Today, the Dharma has been spoiled to such an extent that we, the disciples of the four groups, are responsible. We are very ashamed that we have not fulfilled our responsibilities and have failed to tell the public the true dharma, causing serious misunderstandings among the public. This is because we have not fulfilled our duty as students. Why do we try our best to promote it every day? The reason is here. A person, especially now that he is older, no matter what, you look good to me. My physical strength is always not as good as before, this must be true. Now I talk for two hours a day, and there is no problem. If there is more, I feel a little tired. Ten years ago, I spoke eight or nine hours a day without getting tired. Now if I talk for four hours a day, I feel a little tired, but three hours is fine. Therefore, the most important thing about Buddhism is to have successors. We are doing our best to cultivate talents, and provide the experience we have learned in the past few decades for your reference. We hope that you will come from behind to guide the world, so that the world can truly achieve peace, stability, coexistence, co-prosperity, mutual assistance and cooperation. Buddhism is a truly useful science, and the education of perfect goodwill education and not superstition, not even a little bit of superstition. The sword in the hand of the king of growth, the sword in his hand, what does the sword represent? Represents wisdom. Manjusri Bodhisattva also holds a sword in his hand. The sword represents wisdom, and which means the wisdom sword cuts off troubles. The heavenly king of the south gave us a lesson to express this meaning. We understand that only when wisdom grows day by day, can we carry out the practice of the east king, what the east king taught us, and gradually improve. The teaching of these two heavenly kings is quite complete. But we have to ask, where do we start? The heavenly king of the west and the heavenly king of the north taught us how to do it.
The Heavenly King of the West and the Heavenly King of the North taught us how to do it. You should see more. Look at others more. Learn from others' experience. Learn from others' strengths. Correct their shortcomings, and you will progress and improve. If you correct other people's shortcomings, you will make progress. So the King of the West told us to watch more. You have to be wise to look at this society. The society is very, very complex and full of changes. Changes in human feelings and things are truly unpredictable. Therefore, the props held by, wide-seeing, heavenly king are dragons or snakes. Dragons and snakes signify change, which represents change, and tells you that social changes are too complicated. This hand holds a dragon, and this hand holds a bead. What are beads? In the change, you hold the same, the pearl does not change, and you let the dragon change with the pearl. This means that you want to change the realm, and you cannot be changed by the realm, clever. You can't just follow it, if you can make it to follow you, your learning will be successful. In the midst of changes, grasp the unchanging principles and principles, that is the bead. The heavenly king of the north is called the heavenly king of, more sensing. Obviously, you should listen more. There is no one who asks you to talk more, no talkative king. If we want to achieve wisdom and achieve the goals mentioned above, we must watch and listen more. In fact, the meaning expressed by these two heavenly kings is what our Chinese Confucians often say. Read thousands of books and travel thousands of miles. Traveling thousands of miles is a sightseeing tour, to achieve one's true knowledge. In the past, Mr. Fang Dongmai, when I was studying with him, the old man used to say that people who study philosophy, I learned philosophy from him at that time, must take a plane, fly high, and then see the smallness of the world, help you get it. We now have too many opportunities to fly by plane. From the perspective of the plane, it is indeed too small. I deeply understand this truth. Therefore, we must read more, read more scriptures, and read more history books. History is the experience of learning from it, the experience of success and failure. A country, the prosperity of the country, must have a reason for its prosperity. The death of a country, there must be factors of its death, you should grasp this thing. There is a certain reason for the rise and fall of a family. There is still a reason and principle for personal success and failure. By reading scriptures, you can gain knowledge and wisdom, and you can solve problems. By reading history, you can master problems. When reading history, you must absorb historical facts. With a historical perspective, you can see deep and far. Reading the scriptures, you have the wisdom to solve problems and the ability to deal with them. This is true knowledge. The northern heavenly king is holding an umbrella. What is the use of the umbrella? Prevent pollution. Now Singapore's air is polluted again. The umbrella is to prevent pollution, especially to prevent the pollution of the mine. Our minds are originally pure, but greed, hatred, ignorance, and arrogance arise in our hearts, and doubts arise in our minds. If your mind, spirit, thoughts, and views are polluted, then it is spoiled. The meaning of the umbrella is to prevent pollution.